you know. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah, hear that? Thousand three. Yeah. yeah. Now they have more qualified teachers now. Thousand eight. Two thousand. You hear the kind of salary they're getting now? Yes. And you, Mr. Barry, your salary as a as a teacher for years, you couldn't even cross forty dollars. Yes, but when at that time too, a pound of sugar was how much now? How much? Sugar was, a pound of sugar was about fifty cents. Fifty cents, but but still forty dollars at the time. Yes, whilst you you're talking about a pound of sugar, I still find that a, salary. A, a, a pound of sugar, a pound of sugar is not two dollars now. You know, a pound of sugar is less than dollar fifty. Um, you, no? Yes, yes. yes when, you, when you go, you buy, normally you buy a plastic of, uh, a plastic, yeah. sugar in plastic. And and you would, you, uh, uh, you would see the, the weight on it, two point somebody, and you'd buy that for two dollars and change or three dollars for, uh, for a plastic of sugar. And the plastic would be more than a pound. Right, but, but at the time. So, it's, so when you look at the, uh, comparison. Safari, I'm, I'm not saying yeah. when you look at what is happening today, not, mm -hmm. there's, not, not, there's no big boy, comparison. But teacher's salary at that time of Barry, but the teachers wasn't getting money. Mm -hmm. Let's be honest. And to add insult to injury, if you fail twice, you're out of it, you know? Yeah, if you fail twice. So if you're, if you're a woman and you get pregnant, you're out of too. Mm -hmm. You're out of it. Mm -hmm. And then at that time, they don't have form one. It was great. And that's six and seven. That's seven. Mm -hmm. Send it seven. When you reach another seven, you sit there, come on, and you're, you're, you're still living, living, yeah. And then at grade five, uh, at standard five, you sit there. Uh, common entrance. Yes. The common entrance. Yes. I shut my common entrance in Portsmouth. <laughs> and then I, I came out number eight. So they had a separate list of from boys and girls. So I, 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 government was giving five on each side, and then it was a Hong Kong to give one, like six on each side. So I missed it by two. I could have gone to another time. SMA used to, SMA used to, used to have an exam. Your own exam, yes. If you have to go to them, I could have, I passed both. But you know what prevented you from going to high school, brain? <laughs> Cricket. <laughs> you went playing cricket? Let me tell you this story. I okay to go to high school and I was still, even though you passed to the common entrance, you still have to go to high school, to school, you know. Yeah, yeah I go playing cricket now. So two, two hours ago on the ball and I got a bad lash in my mouth. So that prevented me from going to SMA. <laughs> to go to SMA. <laughs> but I'm not so bad. Everything was good, man. And then everything else was saying, I went for that. I know. And that was. Of course, we had some top education officers in Oberyn. Who, right? who you had as your supervisor in the East? Mr. Peter Israel or, or Mr. Israel was my first principal. He was your. Pr oh, yes, he lived in the Cal Reserve. He lived in the Kalinago Territory, close to and the and school. You had John Johnson Thomas. Johnson Thomas, he died in Tassel. Oh, right. Yeah. And then from that, you had James. You remember James? Yes, I remember James. James, Anita, and so on. So oh, boy, you went through a lot. But I, 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 I spent a few days at Rosa Boys School, you know, James. Uh, 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 you taught at the Rosa Boys School? Yes, man. <laughs> I taught at Rosa Boys School for a few days. And then you had Arthur Smith there teaching. Arthur Smith yeah. taught there too. Yes. Yeah, you had. And then the head teacher was Froggy, you said. Yeah. Bad, bad partner boy. Yes, yes. And then you also had Misha Clinton as principal there too, you know, at that time. Misha was a principal there at one time. <laughs> because Misha Clinton always saying, well, Rosie Boys could, could beat Sally Ben Cricket. So we came down to play a game. Nice reception. We batted first, we scored 149. And then we had Rosie Boys School 18 for 6. <laughs> <laughs> Rinse it up, play. <laughs> 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 Hi, boy. Up play, man. And, the, and Rosa Boy School had a, had a strong team, you know. <laughs> the Elwins, the Doc Troves, you know. Yeah, man. Very interesting. Well, thanks for calling, thanks for Barry. Calling by Barry. Thanks, man. Yes. Uh, I'm listening and I'm listening and then I'm laughing too. <laughs> and, and finally, when you know, your 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 attire for school was nothing so you know that 
you want a tie on your neck, you can go in the classroom and you know that. You must have a tie in your neck? Yeah, man. Boy. All that time we under the British, you know? Yeah, yeah colonial yeah. rule, boy. And, mo- and then that partner was the chief education officer, O.A. Walker. Mr. Walker. And then you had the minister of education, Stevens, man. W.S. Stevens. <laughs> Those were the days. Just full white. <laughs> he was dressed all in white? <laughs> Boy, you all went through so, some, some challenging times. Anyway, Barry, thanks for thank calling. You, thank you very much for calling, you, Barry. You, 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 that's yes, it. Thank you very much, Barry. <laughs> the teacher yes. used to, you, yeah, you right. must have a tie. Eh? Yeah. No, 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 Bryn. We were talking about the shoes that we wear. Um, there were two popular places that we could buy our shoes. Mm. One by Bata. Yeah, Bata Shoe Store. And, and the second place was by Nassif. By Nassif, yes. And most times Nassif was always cheaper than that of, of Bata. Um, butter. If you go there, you you'll get your brown shoes. At some fortunate students, brown or your black shoes. Your black shoes. Uh, but those of us who are not fortunate we would have to go by Nassif and do the purchasing of or well, not us but our parents. We wear a cheaper shoe mm-hmm. because you cannot afford butter. Butter had top quality shoe coming all the way from England, you know, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and so the price probably was not affordable to your parents. Mm-hmm. So the next best alternative was to go buy Nassib mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and get and get your shoe uh, at a cheaper rate. You know that that's important. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So sometimes for the price of uh, a shoe from Bata, you can get two shoes by Nassif. Yes, that's correct. You know, yeah. so why why going? You know, your parents cannot afford already. You are playing Copa with them. Mm-hmm. So you better just go and buy two shoes from from mm-hmm. Nassif. So you at least if one go, you know, for instance, your Rasa Rasa, you will have to really lose your foot before you 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 finish it. Mm-hmm. I don't know about you. When I had a razz, that I was praying God for that shoes to finish. I would just go about kicking stone. But razz was never finishing, my brother. That yeah, never that, that finishing. Never, never. And I, I long for another another pair <laughs> or something else. That wasn't finishing at your all. foot would finish, but not the razz. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. No, no, no. We we talk about the shoes that we we found ourselves wearing, or what our parents gave us to wear. Um, the meals. I mean, let's let's talk a little bit about the breakfast. Ah, well, for my breakfast, mm-hmm. before I go to school, my cocoa tea. Yes. With dashing woti. Fig woti. Fug, fig woti. Mm-hmm. Uh, also my sweet potato woti. And that was from leftovers in the evening. But I don't know how he did it. My well, parents always, right now in the night, I cannot eat food. But my mother and father ate their food in the night and went to sleep right away. Mm-hmm. So tomorrow morning, if they were not finished with everything, that had to be roasted next day for me to have with my cocoa tea. Because, because it, well, well, you had fig root, root tea and so on. I, I, I had a little of that, but not ready to go to school. Um, I know that we have bread and water. Um, what type? I, I, I remembered from the very early, the, the type that we used to get, it was called table butter. Yeah, table butter. Uh, yeah. Table butter, that's what we call it. Um, uh, it's still called table butter today? Yeah, table butter. Right. Yes. And there are times, y- your parents would have to go in some kind of purchasing vibes. You know, you, you are, you're going by a particular business place and you're buying certain things. And uh, when you buy the number of things, you have to have coupons and when you buy the coupon when you got those coupons that you bring it in exchange for a jar of peanuts butter oh, oh were you fortunate you, man. not fortunate my brother you, you had, you, you had peanut that, butter at the, school but you're peanuts very butter privileged that, peanuts butter that you had wasn't just privilege you know you were privileged fellow man says so we'll come to that let's, let's go to the <laughs> telephone good evening to you caller good evening gentlemen good evening, Happy to you again tonight. Good evening. Okay, I'm enjoying your program as usual, and um, I'm noticing that you're speaking of your experience in Rosal area. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. From the Rosal area. Yes. My yes. My experience comes from Clifton. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, tell us about that. <laughs> <laughs> um, I listened. I listened earlier. I wasn't able to join conversation then, but um, you were speaking about a particular book 
uh, which is the Caribbean readers, where you'd have found certain information on Caribbean countries. Uh, we had common experiences with the the uh, student companion. I think, if I remember it correctly, it was an orange covered book. That's right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Um, so we had that in Christian. And um, my first principal in Christian was Miss Merle Samuel from Maria. Oh, Miss Samuel. Merle. Call it as holy for a while. Call it as holy for a while. You, you saw how interesting that, that, that is in the sense that today when you take a teacher and you transfer her to another another area, that teachers make problems about it. You hear what? From Clifton. And she had to go to... Yeah. She was from Marigold and she had to go to Clifton. She was from Marigold. She was from Marigold, yeah. But no, but, but, but hold that thought, Cecil, because remember, whilst you're transferring a teacher or a principal to a particular area, they had principal houses, you know. Okay. The okay. principal had a home. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you could you could be transferred from one area to the next because you knew where you were going. So you didn't have to go and rent a house. You okay. were going to a home that was provided by by the government for you. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yes, caller. Go right. ahead. That that is that is correct because I remember she stayed in the school. She had a special um, section at that time. There was an upstairs and downstairs building in Clifton at the time. It was wooden, and she had. The upstairs where she stayed, and uh, the downstairs part was the general school auditorium and the classes that you talked about. They were not always divided. They had a curtain, something like that, which would kind of separate the classes temporarily, and you could walk through that long hallway you know, to get from one class to the other. So the principal, Miss Merle Samuel, she was uh, housed in that building, and that's before they broke that old school and they built the current new school building that's in Clifton right now. And since then, they separated housing. They had a, a separate building for the school principal. Uh, my second principal was from Wesley, Miss Patricia Richards. And my third school principal was Mr. Clifford Wallace, who's still alive right now. Still alive. He lives next to the By school. Then, yes, yes, that's the way, right opposite the school. And um, I had practically one year with him as a student, and then I passed the common entrance and went to PSS. So I remember he was, well, he still is that strict person. He, he commands that kind of care, you know, days when he walked around. Um, everybody revered him or respected him, so to speak. But um, he was very adamant in things like dictation. I, I, I haven't heard you come up with that yet, but probably it would. Dictation was one of the things which kept the students um, more abreast and it's kind of current. It could help them with memory and uh, comprehension because you would have to listen to the teachers read out a passage and you would have to write as fast as you can, but do so uh, cautiously so you can get every word or as many uh, sentences correct as possible. Uh, with the listening comprehension, they, when, when they spoke or they read out, then you'd have to be able to interpret or simplify what they said because they've asked you questions about that. So that that was one of the, the major areas which helped to, to um, broaden their scope in in, in uh, debates. Um, we used to have a lot of debates. Uh, schools had houses that uh, we debated each other on a particular topic. And that was an integral part of the school curriculum back then. Uh, we also did drama, and we did things like the, the Christmas plays, you know, we have those things as part of the extracurricular activities in the school. Uh, so kids, you could tell, uh, 
from looking at them or their performances, uh, what they would be interested in, in most of the time, what you know, give you an insight of what they were good at, and others would try to emulate them, you know, on that wise. I uh, heard you talking about the education officers. I remember Mr. Peter Israel and Bill Robinson, when they came to the school, it was always a tense situation at the school. All teachers would be, you know, on the T's and T's. They dressed differently, um, but the school would be eerily quiet. And um, they were not very friendly. To, they never said hello or hi to the kids when they walked by. They were so stern faced, you know, like uh, we used to wonder why, you know, but we didn't know it was an inspection probably not only for us, but for the, the teachers uh, they were observing and stuff like that. It's only now, in retrospect, I could look back and figure out, oh, that's what they were doing. So uh, that program is very good. I think where, where I joined your program tonight, you were talking about breakfast, what you were eating for your breakfast. That's right. <laughs> well, in the countryside, in Cleveland, we have... Um, it's amazing what we call the um, the kashima or the, the custard apple. The we had the uh, mm -hmm. the um, sweet stuff or kawasal, You know those things, mangoes. Anything would make it for breakfast. Anything, anything we get like those because there's so many fruit trees around. Bananas. Anything would make up the, the breakfast menu. Um, and you talk about the cocoa tea, and then we put the farine in there, and it, it makes something like like a porridge or something. Mm. But to try to drink hot cocoa tea and you have to run out to school, no, that was a no no. It makes you perspire and then you burn your tongue and all that kind of stuff, you know, with it. So it, it was nice to just drink it that hot. So it was interesting. They're roasted every or anything. <laughs> you, you make me chuckle when you say you had the roast dashing, and roast um, feed and stuff. That's mainly country life, roast cockoy, you know, anything like that. And, and the, 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 the salt fish, whether it's volant, you know, roast volant, roast uh, thai, whatever it was. But that mom would make that delicious breakfast and you have it with some cucumbers or something like that, you know, lettuce, anything. And mom would make a breakfast for you and you had to go to school, you know. You had to go to school. Fortunately for me, I didn't have to travel that far to school from home um, because it was probably about 100 feet or something from, from the school where I lived. So. But going to school was a must. I couldn't be too bad, like, um, special <laughs> Um, because I was too close to the school, and I didn't have that motivation to make food by anything. So <laughs> I was very much into academics and stuff. I remember, well, at least, it was one of my very best days at school. I always stopped my class, um, and except for one time when a good friend of mine stopped me by two points and, and he came first in the class, and I didn't like him very much of it. <laughs> he beat you. <laughs> yeah. Because he seemed he was like a better math student than me. He, he scored that extra two points in math. So I, that's where he helped me. But then we passed the common entrance together and we went to PSF together. And stuff. I guess the high school experience is going to come up in the yeah, 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 yeah. A little, little. Correct. Yeah. We have another call on the yeah, line. We have so, another all right. Thanks. Thanks very much. Yeah. All right. And Yes, good evening to you, Caller Your Life. Yes, thank you. Yes. Um, I want to ask you a few questions on that education business. Yeah, there was a live this summer by GBS. Um, I know in those days where um, students used to go and collect books there to read to help themselves and so on. Because, yeah, that was um, higher up GBS or lower down? The building is still there as we say. It's still there. Okay. Now, what the other question I want to say, talk about is, um, 
that teacher, well, teacher, that two history teachers I know. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. What's that color? Yeah, what I was trying to say is, um, teacher, teacher, um, should do about. I think the guy is still young, don't make uh, coming to Rose and teaching. Yeah, yeah. Now, in, those, in those days, like children, when she used to flock children and so on, I know boys used to have their, their little khaki pants and their, their little shirt and they used to put books behind their back to save them with. Oh, yeah, to and, be. Yeah. And beating. You pad up, you pad up. Pad up, yeah. Now, um, that teacher, teacher Edward, um, they used to, he's now he's used to teach in certain areas in the country. Now he had a strap which they used to he used to name it GBS. I remember that. <laughs> I remember <laughs> that well. <laughs> no, and and then the last thing. Well, you have a name and Mr. had publicity for you, man. Yeah. DBS. <laughs> <laughs> the color's gone, man. The name of well, the man's trap was DBS. DBS yeah. You must, you must get, yeah. <laughs> you must get copyright. No, 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 we, we were talking, as, as you said, we were talking about um, the meals. I, I was saying that I remembered that I was getting bread and butter, bread and jam. The jam was more or less guava from the Bavis State area. But Ceci, what are you talking about mm. that? Do they still have that? Do parents still make guava, guava jam? jam? Oh, do they go have a jam? That's because a that was another th thing that I, I used to look forward to mm -hmm. getting in my bread, especially to bring it for recess. Yes. Go have a jam. So so the, the, my parents used to make quite a lot of go have a jam, especially on a Sunday. So we, we, we used to get a lot of go have a jam. Not the, I, I like now it's very thick. Yes, uh, thick. But in those days, you could take it and just pass oh, it yeah, like, a, like a piece. Yo, they make it two different yeah, types. Right. You have gova jelly. Yes. And you have the gova jam. jam, which is in a li uh, very uh, much liquid form right. that you can pass in your bread. Right. And, and the, 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 the Catholic Church was doing a very fantastic job at the time. What they had? Where they had a program where every Friday or every other Friday, mm -hmm. memory doesn't serve me right now, but... The Catholic Church used to have a program what? where um, the man shop used to be there before, or they, they, they used to be doing clothes, building clothes there, where um, Sheridan Gregor had the man shop. Yes. But it is um, the entrance of Long Lane, of Long Lane, Long, Long Lane? Yes. Where Long Lane, Long Lane is where the, where the yeah, century. Yeah, where they had, what they had there. You see upstairs, you see on Turkey Lane? I know what you're talking about. Right. So, so, so the Catholic Church is not No, not Brogodo. Brogodo is closed. They used to give you food. So they have milk. Well, not milk. Klim. Klim. They have Klim, Bulga, corn flour, corn flour, um, oil, flour, and oil. And oil. Mm -hmm. Well, the Bulga was like the oil. You know? yeah, well, no, they had the, they had the oil in the tin. Oh, yes. A, a, a Canadian tin. Yeah, in the Canadian tin. It's a Canada aid, yeah, like that and it's like a hand like and we took blue, blue. yes, yes, yeah. So looking at you, yeah, right, <laughs> looking at you, <laughs> right. And um, we used to go there every Friday or whatever time it was, and uh, they would give us what is required of of us in the Rosu area. So you find that uh, um, in the mornings, most mornings, you that same corn meal that the church would have yes. given you, you would have to make your corn meal, and that same clean. Oh yeah, you put that in that the tea. You have to put that in the tea, you know, um, it, because the cream had less fat. That's yeah. what it was mm -hmm. said. Non-fat. Non non-fat non -fat or non-fat. And and so we used to have quite a lot of that in the morning. And that, 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 that milk was given to you in also in a box. If yeah. you get a big one or you, they give it to you in a plastic, but I, I had it in a box. Well, in, in, no, in my time, there wasn't a box. It was a kind of hard paper. Uh, kind of had oh well yeah, glad you you you, well, yeah, you met it yeah, in it in, yeah. in, in its well, stage. I, I I I don't think I ever met it in any box. I, I met it in a box. In, in, and and your mother, my mother used to send the children, myself, Reginald. I doubt my twin brothers and them ever went and get that, but myself and Reginald were bigger, and we used to have to go get that every Friday. We had to take our our we used to had to bring our bags so that the the people who actually shared i wish i, I knew the people because i can't I, I normally have good memory but i can't remember the people who, who actually shared it. sharing the 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 the, 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 the um, items and so we used to have cocoa tea um 
the cocoa tea more or less in the nights uh, with 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 the the pap. Um, so the, the your wap one, up. The, the, well, we call it wap up. No, it was more or less in the night. The thick one with the flower. Um, also, too in the night, I'm talking about going to school. Yes. In the night time, the our parents gave us a lot of bush tea. What talk about bush tea, no boy? Flower pap. So they used to take to give it a little taste. They used to take um because we had a tree close to us. Nutmeg, spice. No, 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 no. I feel like nutmeg and spice. Clo- uh, uh, by by sparrow, uh, a lime tree, <laughs> and we used to ensure we get the lime, and then. The lime wa- the lime leaf would be in the water, boil, and then we do the flower pop and put a little essence in that. Mm. As as boys growing up, you know. And for your for your for if, before for you go for to sleep for your dinner, flower pop. Flower pop. Can you give that to a young man now? Crazy. Which young man? Oh, young lady now going which, to which, school. Flower pop. Which which young lady you gonna get that to? Huh? Tell yeah. me which tell me which which young lady. <laughs> um, <Huh? laughs> you, you know, says and, and 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 then. In the night also too, so tonight you get um flower pop. Flower pop. Tomorrow night you might get your kaku. But 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 hear this. The other night you'll get milk. No, the milk had to be sweetened and they we used to have cricks, crackers. And you put it in and there. And you had to put the crackers in the milk to 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 eat. The crackers and drink the milk like like a like a porridge. Well, let, let me give you the story about this milk thing whilst you're there because mm-hmm. of time. Well, at a certain time, the church itself came to the school, and they had a big drum, mm-hmm. and they gave you milk. So at break time, you have to report for duty, especially at the Rosa Girls School in the back house. There, you have milk. In a big drum being boiled. And Cecil, mm-hmm. you get your milk. Each class, standard two, go for your milk. Standard three, go for your milk. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But by the time you, by 10.30, you've had your milk. <laughs> by about 11 o'clock, there about 11.30, mm-hmm. you find your way to the toilet. That's when you consume the milk. man when you had that milk you went off i remember that happened to you you you, you went off because else. i mean that milk i don't know what it had in it but it gave you an instant loose bowel mm-hmm. so you had students lining up an hour after or mm-hmm. half an hour after taking that milk mm-hmm. to find their way in the toilet well after a while i i absented myself from that milk because and it was compulsory so how to find a way of hiding? So 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 our parents did it well. So one night, they they would give you kaku tea, um with a, with a, 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 a five cents bread, um so dry air. That's what we call it. Dry dry, 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 dry bread, which means dry bread. Um, just sometimes you'd get some butter, um not not table butter. You get cooking butter in the night time. They used to give us cooking mm-hmm. butter. I think, um, egg was. Fa. Okay. There's nothing called egg. Um, egg is Sunday. Um, so, your bush tea. So, one night you have kako tea with bread. Uh, yes. Another night you have your flower pap um, with nothing else, just flower pap, like a, like a porridge. Uh, yes. Um, another night they will give you bush tea, um, peppermint, sour soap. Lime basilic, basilic bush tea with again a, a, a dry, dry um another time they would give you um i said flower Con, pap. you could have conflower Con, pap yeah conflower pap oats they give you sometimes oats, oats. sometimes oats did you ever had bix in the night bix johnny cake yes bix in the night you had, we, we got bix in the night bix but more or less the bix would be either the bread or the bakes. Um, we saw fish? We, no. No, no, no. That's Sunday. So the, the <laughs> nighttime kako, the nighttime kako would be with your bakes, dry bakes again. So nothing like bakes and butter, bakes and cheese, and bakes. Nah, 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 nah. It's just bakes and your kako tea, like your bread and your, and your, and your kako tea. 
So yeah. every night you have something different. different. And, uh, and and so that's that's just the school. Lunchtime, Bakanek. Um, you remember Bakanek? Oh, yes. You, you ate quite a lot of Bakanek? I had a lot of Bakanek. Not only Bakanek, I must tell you, sometimes I had butt. Oh, yes. Or, or <laughs> foul food. <laughs> or foul food. Some persons forget that. Foul <laughs> food. I had butt and Cecil, sometimes I didn't want to go you, to you school. Mean, you mean you ate butt? <laughs> I had butt. But. but that thing, when my mother gave that to me for lunch, my goodness, Miss Cecil, what, I, what, my, I couldn't stay close my, to my boys. My adopted father. Did you ever had that for My adopted father, Philip Mann. Had what? He was a partner <laughs> working by the bay. So, Will Mott, um, Zappi, all those guys used to ensure that their family ate but. Oh, man. That so, was... And, and for persons who don't know but, it's a whale. It's a whale. I had but. Yeah. The black whale. The black whale, man. And, and let me tell you, when you... At bot, <laughs> my brother, for the entire day you're filled. The grease yes. in the bot, the meat in the bot, I mean, would make you stay alive. Man. But you had to make sure you had properly, your hands were properly washed because yeah. you were fresh. Yes, that yes, thing used to smell fresh. Fre for, but let me tell you, man, if you eating, if you cooking, but normally they say <laughs> cook bot with um, um, how do you call that basilic? Bas yes, no, bay leaf, bay leaf, bay leaf. They still have to cook that with bay leaf. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and 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 uh, to prevent that smell, smell from spreading. You know, um, bay leaf with a little ginger. Right, you, you have know? it. Oh, your head bot. I tell my it plenty. <laughs> Pops, my brother. <laughs> Our <laughs> home at would a you be lot able to give kids now bot? But we talk children give children bot today. To go and eat bot. But uh, which country you give it? Which, which, which children <laughs> are giving bot? They wouldn't. They wouldn't accept it. That's why they don't even know what. They don't even want. They're the not body. even eating the the, the, the the fish that is out. So you had you had those things. T what about your TTV? You had ever had TTV? Uh, TTV was was uh, in thing. As a matter of fact, with TTV, I I'm not seeing TTV in the Rose River. With TTV with rice. But, but TTV in the Rose River was a common thing. We used to get our brown um, crackers bag. Oh, your cookers Caught it. And put Toast. stones in the in the in the. So you add the TTV from the Rosso River, Cecil? Of course. My goodness. Every young man my <laughs> age now at TTV from the Rosso River. From the Rosso River, boy. And that was a staple, ordinary. You know, let's go. Let's go back to the telephone. Good. Good evening to your caller. Hey, good evening. You breaking up, caller? Good evening. <laughs> You want to call us back again? Just Sorry. call us back. Just call us back. Get your line, yeah. Yes, Titiwi. Man, I, I was I was fearful of that Titiwi from the Rosary. They think black. <laughs> they say they have a lot of sand. They say that um, people said that, um, you know, when, uh, you know, people defecated that Titi was eating that. But you had Mili Kaka was eating it too. You eat you mili, mili, you mili, mili too. Everybody had to eat Mili. <laughs> You're joking, man. <laughs> Good evening to you, caller. Is it better? Yes, it's better. much better. I was calling because I was listening to the show and you were speaking about the bot. <laughs> <laughs> the bot, yeah. and, and when you spoke about that, it just brought back because my father, Skerritt, was the man who caught the bot. You right. You know, for Dominica. You right. You know, yes, yes, yes Skerritt. Skerritt that you, caught you the bot. You living in New Town, but yes. he was living yes. in Pottersville. Pottersville, yes. Skerritt. Yes. Your Skerritt. father yes. caught the bot? That's, yes. yes. Skerritt was yes. your father. He was the best at that. Bot's best <laughs> bot man. Yes. Yes. He passed away in yes. 2019. Yes. About oh two years ago, he was correct. Yeah, yes. That's when I returned to Dominica. He and my so <laughs> he and my adopted father were best of bodies. Uh, uh, yeah, man, he was the yeah, man in Port Saint Vincent. Yeah. Oh, you're yeah. from Saint Vincent. He's he's from Saint Vincent, but I'm you know I'm born here. Mm -hmm. You know, but you know living on Old Street, and when you talk about the bot coming in and how they're cooking it, oh. and as I sat there listening to the show, and you were saying what you put in there, because I remember as a child, and they put in all the the bay leaves and all that stuff, they're cooking it outside, you know, because it's so fresh. So you had to do the initial cooking of that. Outside. And when that's all cooked, yes, outside. When that's all cooked, then they go and make a pot. On free stones, eh? On free stones. <laughs> on free stones. Not on the on the gas stove. It had to be on the <laughs> no, gas stove. Yes. No, outside. I remember all the fishermen that after they finished selling whatever they're selling, 
And then they would come, you know, because he used to live by my EV over there on O Street. And all the fishermen would come in and they would, you know, do their cooking while they're playing their domino, you know. So the stuff is like cooking outside and the scent you write is so strong. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy that you're tuned to the program. program yeah. yes, and you remembered yes. your dad, dad was, was the butt man. He was the butt yeah. man, real. Yeah. 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 Yes, because he worked deep water harbor for many years. For many years, right. But then Just, his thing was catching that butt. That's mm -hmm. everyone who knows Skerritt. Mm -hmm. They know Skerritt was the man for the butt. Yes. And then he's the one who taught a lot my, of the guys. My adopted father who <laughs> actually, my, my adopted father actually went on the sea with him too. To catch butt. To catch butt. Wow, wow. That was, and you know, it's like, like as a young child growing up, that was like, you know, as now you, I'm an adult. But that was privileged because he was the fisherman of fishermen. Yes, you know yes. and then when people say that's who taught me how to you know mm -hmm. fish or how to catch the mm -hmm. the bot you know and you tell people now about bot because as you know growing up in the states you know you think well what is bot you know it's mm -hmm. like was that a whale you know when you really said it's like is that a young whale you know they were eating whales back then oh yeah <laughs> yes, we were. yes yes oh man <laughs> yes we had the bot was a you good know, thing for us mm -hmm. we had that right. Because, you know, if, if you go to the States and you tell them you're eating whale, you know, I'm sure <laughs> there's some kind of, you know... <laughs> I mean, you can't catch both again. There's a lot of both now. <laughs> Today you can't do that. <laughs> so I just wanted to call in just to, you know, give them a little insight. Yes, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. All yes, right. My yeah. name is Empress. <laughs> Impress, impress, man. All right. yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, all right. Have, have I'm night. sure you have my, my adopted father, Philip Mann. I'm probably do. Yeah, you know, yeah. <laughs> All right, right then. Thank you. Good night. Yeah, good night. Yeah. So, just, just imagine. You know, it was sketching, but yes. well, not, not our prime minister. No, no, no. <laughs> Skerritt and the B, <laughs> you know, the B man, the B man. That I'm was in, that was in number what but man. Yes, real, real. And not real. only that, you had the bot oil, mm -hmm. which you would be using for yeah, rheumatism and arthritis. And arthritis. Yeah. Yes. A lot yeah. of people, you yeah. know, used to store their bot oil. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So not only snake oil, but you had bot oil. Mm -hmm. so, so Cecil, you were in the Rosa River eating dummy, titi Yes. And, and you remember we taking the dummy. Someone wants to speak to us. Let's see what the person has to say. Good evening to you, caller. Good evening, caller. Hey, Cecil, I'm Brady. Yes. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yes. Good evening. I, yes. I was scared even this after, but there was some of the lolly to go to the, to go to the depot. Depot is the way to go to the church. And that's where they will be selling that boat. You know, if that boat sells it, I pick up, couldn't carry the boat. You know, it's a free mm. Sunday to be able to carry the boat because and it's tie, a yeah. lot of this. And tie that is a tie down in the room. Yeah, yes, I see them. Yeah. Yes. It, it, it says, you know, Love <laughs> 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 Découvert. <laughs> 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 Pardon, pardonnez-moi, s'il vous plaît. Pardonnez-moi. Parce que papa vous fait, 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 papa vous fait
so so you see the importance because we're talking about education the next week we are, we are going to continue the issue of education because what we are trying to do is to make the the comparison look at the graduation of what education has been today i mean look at all of the experience that we could speak of in terms of the struggles that we would have had to go through we looked at the issues of the shoes that we wore we looked at the meals that we ate um we looked at the uniforms that we had um we looked at the textbooks that were given to us and we said it's just about free but not only that um some of us um who lived in the country who um parents came to work in town or probably wanted to send their children to school in Roseau. they had to board and lodge in Roseau. yes that's yeah, that's another one. Yeah. So, so now we, we ended at, at standard four. Yeah. Let's go now to standard five. Standard five, my, my class teacher was Miss Hamlet. You remember, you remember Miss Hamlet? Uh, Mr. Hamlet, the, the guy who was involved in Khaled. Um Hamlet, you mean Mrs. Margot. Hamlet from Margot? Yes. She she lives across the, the, the bridge now. I, I have not seen this. Mm-hmm. She's still there. Uh, uh, um, Which bridge? The, um, what you call the Scarlet Bridge? Miss Hamlet, you show. Sure? I believe. I believe. I believe she lives you, around that you, you area. Show, you show. You have the right Hamlet. Mm, tall woman. Tall woman. Yeah, black. She, she was no. I don't think she was black. No, she she was married to this soldier Hamlet. Um, oh, I know which one you. T- right. I, I know which one you're talking about. Right. Okay. Yeah. No. So, no. so um, she taught me in standard five. Um, guys like Nigel Francis and myself who were in standard. And who was five, your principal? Five there? C. Still, Mister. Edwards, in Rosa Miss Froggy. School. Yeah, still Froggy in Standard 5. Um, that's all I, I, I can tell you about Mr. Moulin. Mr. Moulin is a very Miss, quiet guy. And Mr. So Demoulin. Mr. Demoulin. But, um, and Mr. E, and Mr. Liquent, he too also taught in 5A. <coughs> um, but I can tell you that um, Miss Hamlet wasn't an easy cookie. She was very difficult. A, 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 a disciplinarian. Um, she she loved the idea of when she gave you homework to do and you did not do it, that she would send you to kneel in front of the board. At that time, the Rosa Boy School had separation. Yes. So, but our chalkboard was on the wall. Um, and uh, I remember a number of us at common entrance, um, a number of us passed, and a number of us a number of students passed, a number of us did not pass. So I had to move to Lufa from 1A, from 1A. And uh, that's where I think <coughs> Mr. Lufa taught you. So, so Mr. Lufa taught, Mr. Lufa taught me. So that's where I believe my turning point started in terms of taking education serious. Mr. Lufa was no easy cookies. I tell you, Lufa was just mo- Lufa was much more than a teacher. Um, he, he taught you to become well-rounded, mm-hmm. prepared you for the world in event oh. that you did not go to high school. You will be ready. But I happen to have had another chance um, in first form. Sat, passed, and went to St. Mary's Academy. Right. Good evening to you, caller. Good evening to you, caller. Cecil. Yes. Good evening. You, I'm a brain. You remember a teacher named Maglo? But we call his, we call his name from Trafalgar. From, 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 from Trafalgar. Right. Loda. Loda, 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 Mr. Marco. Loda, Loda. Taught, taught and that's where since, since passed. Right. right. And then I remember Lee Quent. Yes. But you know he had a little thing. I don't understand. <laughs> he was mad? I don't that? Lee Quent wasn't mad. He had a little thing. He had a little thing. Lee Quent was just a... a, 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 a but then he and, he and Marco almost had a class too, you know what? <laughs> Uh, Maglo yeah. was very ignorant. Oh, yes, Maglo Mag- thought that he was a boys' school. Too. Yeah, he thought. Yeah, he thought that he was a boys' school. Thought that he was a boys. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay. okay. Yeah, uh, but yeah. no, while you're talking about that, Cecil, whilst we went to school and we were entering the different grades, we also had different games we played. Strap. Yes. yes. Oh boy. <laughs> I mean, whilst at school, you have to hold your strap. Oh, you hold if, your. Uh, if if you come to the if you 
if you are in the yard and you are not holding your you, strap, you get you'll be getting a whipping. You'll get a whipping. So right. so so everybody had to hold. So it. you had to be on the alert. We right. also played facts. Yes, if you. Uh, so you get your hand, you get your hand, you get your hand, your hand has to be on your buttocks you, you all, day. The, all day, all day, all day, or, or else you get students, a fax. Or students are watching, um, your, your, your friends are watching you whilst you're still at school. Yes. So during the time they get a chance at break when yes. you're out there in the yard, yes. you get your fax or yes. you get your, you get your strap. Yes. Not only that. Or, or you get your car lot. And you have to be careful too whilst you're at school, the fellas can move the bench and or the chair them. and throw you down. And throw you down. So right. there were all kind of things going on. Mm -hmm. Now, if you came to the school and you're moving from one um, school to the next and you had your trim, you were clean. Every, you get your slap. Remember every school year. Oh, you trim. Every, every So fellas waiting for you. So, so every one of us get our little color. So they're waiting for yes. you by the school gate yes. as you're entering from, let's say you're leaving the Rosa Girls School to come to the Chateau mm -hmm. or to the Rosa Boys, Boys school. school. The senior boys are waiting for well, fresh meat. Right. They call you fresh meat. Right. So if you come with your trim, <laughs> you don't know and, from and which most, direction. And most, uh, and most times you come in with your trim with a bebop. With a bebop. You're getting slapped. So you you don't know slapped. where you don't know where that coming from. So, so boys, so anyhow, will all anyhow you come from Rosa Girls School <laughs> to the gate. And uh, an arrival, fellas, waiting for you to pass the gate to get, and then you get in your. You, slap. So you are being baptized. Yeah, you're being. They call yeah. that the baptism of yes. fire. Slaps. Like you're joke. getting slapped. Joke. Your like head joke. getting. Red. You don't know from and which direction, and, and, and you cannot you can fight. Back. You cannot hit back. Because because the fellas these are they, seniors. They are senior boys are seniors. looking for you, and they're looking. Yes. They're looking to discipline yeah. you, these, so you understand that you are here now, right? And you're part of the group. So we, boys will always be boys. And then, and then, even when you came to the Rosa Boys School in my time that you find that the senior boys when it was cricket time that you had to bowl for them they have oh, oh no you can't you just take a ball bat, you have to bat the, the, the senior boys batting and you as the junior you have to bowl, have to bowl for the whole for day for the whole day that's your business that's your, and feel for the whole no, day. no one asks you to be a, 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 a freshman <laughs> so once you're a freshman you, you had to bowl the whole and, day and the guys had to bat whole day and if they, if, if they liked you they say okay uh, you can give, 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 a, a give, me, give me a try yeah, give me a try so <laughs> let's call in let's, let's see what the person has to say good evening call good evening call good evening say thanks for the compliment oh thank you yes and and Cecil, i just wanted to say one thing before i go to bed um Cecil, i'm the only teacher who ever taught at rosa boy school and never change all other teachers were shifted around they never changed me it's because I was doing something good. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. All, all his life. Yes. yes. Good evening to you, caller. Good evening to you, caller. Yes, gentlemen. Yes, gentlemen. What an interesting program. Thank you, my cause. Yes, That's something. I, <laughs> I love it. I love it. Yes. You love it. And yeah. I think we will be an extension. Or extension. I just said so. We'll get an extension. We'll get week. an extension next week. All right. I, I was never privileged or fortunate to eat, but what I. If I had, I still would not have eaten one. But you had bread and bunjao. But you had bread and bunjao. Your mother's cooking bread and bunjao, man. No, 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 no. Well, that's bread and bunjao. Yes, yes, yes. 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 Yes, <laughs> I bring you privilege, right. crab bags. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, 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 from the coconut trees on top. Hold on, hold on. But okay. while I'm on that, uh -huh, uh -huh. while I'm on that subject matter, we can always um when we pray, we always say thank you God mm -hmm. for His blessings, mm -hmm. but we never say God, you're worth all the praises and glory. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So on that note. We are polluting the teachers, really trying to raise the teachers, and we need to reward them because they have been very, very instrumental in our educational development. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's my educational journey started from preschool under the, the leadership of teacher Patricia Chillingford now, teacher Pat. Teacher Pat. Mm -hmm. Teacher Pat, yes. Yes, and I think the, it's sad at, that at the green school was never at, recognized. At the green school. On Turkey on Turkey Lane, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And there were so a number of other teachers that went down the drain without even being recognized. And I think, you know what, going forward, as soon as these people are close to their retirement, they should be rewarded. Because teaching is not an easy profession. It's very challenging. 
And I am really hearing Jaden talking about a hundred a thousand and three hundred dollars for a temporary teacher. Bro, I don't want to touch that matter. Teachers need to be highly recognized. They have been doing a tremendous job. And without these people in the lives in our lives and the lives of the generation to follow, education would be in the drain. Because education is of great importance on giving it with others. And they have given their all and they should be recognized to the T. To the T to the point. Every year we should be recognizing teachers during the National Day celebration. From the past to the present. And I think that's why I come with you. Thank you. I had a very educational journey that ended at SMA. And if I were to say thanks to all the teachers in my life, now is the opportunity. Some of them are deceased, like Dora Joseph, Abbott Chillingford, Mr. Popon in the Girls School, My My Ball, Foggy still alive, the scholarship man, $5 a month for a scholarship class. <laughs> That's one thing, he never gave it for free. <laughs> <laughs> you had to pay your lessons, and man. so many other teachers, brother. <laughs> but, you know, we, we need to glorify them and say, thank you for your effort, thank you for your time in our educational development. And I wish those behind, or those who come, the very best in that profession. God bless you guys. And thank keep you. pumping the oil into this program. It's, thank you. It's really good. Thank, thank you. you. Thank God bless. you. God bless. Yeah, yeah. Um, Oh, that, that's, that's 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 important. You know, very important. Yeah, yeah. You the must teachers. recognize the teachers yeah, and along and their and journey. I'm glad he made that statement. You know, oh, yeah. That we we need to 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 recognize the efforts of those of those teachers. And oh, and, and, and and we forgot to, in the process of of recess, as as he called. I remember the fact that um the scraps co um coconut scraps. That's what you call it. Uh, um coconut cheese. No, we had coconut fowling cheese. Fowling cocoa. Fowling cocoa. You had um, um, unbreakable. Unbreakables. You had the coconut gouache. Mm -hmm. You, you know, you had all those things. You had the um, cream and sugar. Yes. Good mm. evening to you, Colin. Yeah, mm. yeah, good evening. Good evening. I, I'm calling from Portsmouth. Yes, My sir. first time. I listen all the program from Kyrie FM and DBS. I listen all the time. I never call him. But I'm very interested with that bot business. And that bot is not a whale, you know. We have this purpose, you know. But that boat, my father was a fisherman from Portsmouth. And that boat is between a whale and a thing we call the purpose. Now that boat, you have to con it. And the meat always red like it's a red, a blood meat, a blood fish. And when you, you, you con it, and you could put two little pieces in a big pot of food with dashing or cocoy or whatever, whatever. But I like the program, you know. I just watch on the phone book and get this number. I'll be interested. I listen all the program and I think I'll be calling a little bit more. But I love it, brother. And keep up the good vibe. One love. Yeah, look, yeah. post mod. Thank Bless you. up. Thank you, Yellow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. We were talking about some of the things that we would have had at For recess. For recess time, yes. Um, in primary school. Um... When we went to the Ro Rosa Mixing Fan School, um, there was the hypni, um, um, well, coconut you, cheese that we could buy. You, you, you had the you had the coconut cheese. You had the peppermint. What, what we what most of us liked was the scraps. Okay. You, you know you know what the scraps is? Which the the, the one that you you um caught? No no the, the coconut gouache. No no all all of the the balance. Okay. Of the coconut cheese. The um, the fowling cocoa, f um, the, the other, the other, oh, the everything that was left behind. Yeah, so, where did behind. you get it from? Malo Black, from, no, 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 from um, Renick's um, mom. Oh, 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 yes, you know, they, 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 they lived on Cock Street, the, and, and you were frequent Ballas, Ballas, Ballas mom. mother, right? Mm -hmm. And um, those of us, um, well, actually, I don't think I used to, not I don't think that I wasn't yeah. buying them. Because Renick is my cousin, my mother and Renick mother are very close um, thing. Renick father and my mother, two sisters, children. So they left so, it for you? So they, 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 they would have left. This, uh, when, you, when you pass, you, you, once you, you pass, the lady know you Zafa come. Philip, no, that, that time it was Zafa Philip, man. Zafa Judith, Kapasi. So, Signing like a bow. So they, they would give, and they, they were very, very giving, generous. They were very giving people, mm -hmm. you know. So not all of us used to buy. Well, I sometimes used to have my pranks too. 
uh-huh. disappear the recess. I disappear the recess of some of the students. How did you do that? Well, did they, you disappeared this, this, the recess or you stole the recess? Uh, well, I disappeared and I stole it. And some of them had to give me recess for me to do their maths to them. Mm-hmm. If you're a good student, they, they have to pay me mm-hmm. with their recess. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And some of them who were very selfish, they didn't see where their recess went, mm-hmm. disappeared. Some of them disappeared my recess as well. Mm-hmm. That was the nature of, of school, you know. They're looking for their recess. Them fellas have ham. Them bourgeois fellas have ham <laughs> in the in the recess. Nice sandwich. They come up from upper but goodwill with that. You know, you're, 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 a, you're, a, you're so right because uh, you know, uh, when, when I went to high school, I, I met some of the oh man. elite guys oh man. When they school, come with recess, they come you know, from they first from oh man. And and many of them would have had a different oh variety, a variety of beers egg. Than, than oh my god, egg, ham, egg, lettuce. Ham. Man, you just, oh man! You call that a sandwich? A s- oh my goodness! And the guys, they're looking at your little penny, <laughs> and you fellas have all that every day. No, but not, no, no, no. Sometimes I'll tell you, you're walking from home to school. So I, at that time, I'm living in Bath State, having to walk from home to SME. And I check in, but you know what? I get a lick kind of breakfast there. <laughs> I eat my recess on the way. So I used to eat my recess on the way. So you, you have no recess. So when recess time comes, I, I used to mop. Uh, you mopping fellas. Yes, I had to mop. I had to uh, beg. Uh, yeah, yeah, man. You know? Fellas mop yours too, you know? I'm telling you. So I, I ate my own on the way, but recess time... I you, you're dry. I, I dry. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So you have to refuel. I have to refuel. <laughs> and, um, Boy, these were the days, you know, yes. says it. I remember in first form, I, I met, a, a, well, I had, I had a teacher by the name of uh, Mr. Andre. Irving Andre is now... Uh, the lawyer, no, the judge. The judge now. now. And I find, you know, this guy was looking like a rabbit. You know, we always used to get names for teachers. And, I, and I, I remember sitting at the back with a guy they called Junior Daly. Um, and Junior now lives in, um, in um, what do you call this place? In Louisville, where he used to live at the time on Upper Lane, corner of Upper Lane and Hillsborough Street. And I said, Lape. So I called Irving Lape. Because for me, he was looking like a rabbit. <laughs> boy, <laughs> what fallen you? Boy, mystic. Was Brother Jimin was by the window. It was my <laughs> first killing from Brother Jimin. And it wasn't the last. And he heard you. And Brother Jimin heard me. And the window where Brother Jimin was, the window was cracked. So you couldn't see Brother Jimin. He had, he had a habit of hiding. You know. Hiding. <laughs> He's, he's there, <laughs> and he's pushing down the window, <laughs> so you won't be able to see him. Yeah. And I bought out, Lape! <laughs> and he heard that. And, La- and Mr. Andre said, who was the person who shouted Lape in the class? Class quiet. And Irving Andre said, I would like to know who said Lape in the class. Nobody's answering in my corner. So we had fellas like Brian DeQuintel. Um, Fitz Burnaby. So I remember that very, very, very well. <laughs> Fitz Burnaby, Brian DeQuintel, Cecil Joseph, Junior Daly. So there we are at the back. And we're not talking. We're not saying a word. So Irving said, you know what? I'm going to send you all out. Before Irving could even finish his sentence, Brother Jimmy was in front of the class with his finger and making that sign. Come there, yeah, come, come here. And the four of us wondered who Brother Jim been talking to. And uh, he pointed at me. Boy, let me tell you, that's the worst day in my life. Brother Jim asked me, what is the reason for calling your teacher Lapin? La <laughs> at the time, <laughs> he was teaching us history. And um, you couldn't respond. And Brother Jim had a thick leather belt. And I get four of that, two on each hands. I couldn't write for the rest of the day. Hmm. And the next day. Boy, I, those were the days. Those were the days. And he was very alert, this brother Jermaine. Oh, yes. 
And he, he, he brought a certain sense of discipline to mm -hmm. the academy. Yes. When we get to the secondary school, we'll talk about that. He was that. the best. He, well, in your time, yeah. he was. Yeah, in but, my time, he was the best. But in my primary school, one of my best principals was Peter Israel. Mm -hmm. he, he was very strict. Uh, well, I didn't meet Miss Wart Wartley because she was at the um, Rosal Senior Boys, but I met Peter Israel. And when I was leaving, I met another guy, uh, Mr. Nicholas from Goodwill. So these were my principals uh, at primary school. Well, my principals at, at primary school, as I said, Rosa Mixon Fan School was Miss Christian. Um, the second one I met was Double Chin, I think Miss Tavernier. Um, then uh, Mrs. Linton and Froggy. These were my high Prime, school, your primary school, school principals. 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 And um, had no regrets. Um, had some wonderful teachers. As I said, I remember Noreen Joseph, my first yes. teacher uh -huh. in, in, in um, ABC class. Then I remembered Miss Elwin in 2B in Rosa Girls School. Mr. Winston in 3A in Rosa Girls School. And also... Um, in the Rosa Girls School, Rosa Boys School, I met Miss in 4C. I met Miss um, Darampel in 5C. I met Miss Miss um, Hamlet. And in first form. And in first form, Mr. Luther. 1A, Mr. Luther Martin. Martin Luther. Yes. Well, Seth, we've come to the end. Yes. Of our next, week, next week, we should again focus on education. I think we'll have more time next week. And next um, time, we'll head into the secondary section. And we will go into the secondary section, leading us now, um, because I, I would like to do education in a holistic way. So we did we did with the with the um, primary school. Next week, we'll try to do uh, we'll do we'll deal with the with the um, secondary section. secondary section. And when we are through the secondary section, we will um, talk about how education is today, the, the value mm -hmm. of that education has been, that has been placed in education, the infrastructure that is now being placed in education. You know the 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 the, 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 the um the, the the efforts or the extra efforts that is now place into into education and the privilege that the students and have now privileges that are now given to students. and the type of schools that they're entering now compared uh, to what we had well, you're in kitchenettes you're hearing smart schools you're in smart schools computers internet internet um and these are things that you have we, your we, desk of your own you have your desk of your own your you have yours you have your new type of um we don't even talk about desk and and and, and benches right you remember in in our days you know when school finished, the semester is over, we have to scrub our, our desk. And that is what I find, you know, where the students were very much involved in the cleanliness of their school. Because mm -hmm. you had to go to the gel bushiwi, yes, which is the mouth of the Rose River, with your, with your sandpaper, your scrubbing brush, and your soap mm -hmm. to clean your desk and your bench to bring it back at the end of school school year for the students who are coming into your class well you went to jail bush but I, we had to do one at the school where we had to bring a, a, a brush a basin and uh, um sometimes not all of the times sometimes some sandpaper um to sandpaper your desk because sometimes if you're going up to a higher class you write a set of things on, on the and desk you have to erase that and you have to get rid of that so, so the desk itself, you know, remain um, at your school. Remain at the at the at the in the class, um, in the cleaning of the class. Even there were cleaners. We had to find ourselves at recess time. Um, the teacher would determine who would do what. Um, the cleaning of the school is only after when we went to high school we realized, oh, that was detention, because they were not calling it detention in our time. By the way, you talk about um, students uh, kneeling in front of the class. But did you ever get the experience to stand on a bench? No, never did. Well, when I went to primary, um, to stand at five, your punishment for the day was to stand on the bench, remain there until 3.30, and from there you get off your bench, and you have now to clean the entire school. 
both inside and outside. Well, I I know when when we did the, as I said the, we did not know the word detention in primary school. Right. The, the teacher would just say, "Well, Cecil, you have to stay back today to clean the class, and you have to clean the entire class to include the desk." And, the desk. and you know what? You're, if you were extremely rude to your parents when you were growing up uh, and you were at school and you, you did not obey your teacher, you would have to kneel down in the room with two stones over your head, over knocking your, yeah, it. Yeah, 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 I remember. You, you, you ever, <laughs> yeah, I remember that. <laughs> your mother ever gave yeah. you two stones yes. to hold over your head and knock yes, it? Yes, I remember that. That I remember. You have that to remember I, that. That I remember. You have two, <laughs> two stones, each probably weighing and, 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 two and, pounds. And you're hearing your parents saying to you, if you make a mistake and stop yeah well you will know you've been rude to your teacher mm -hmm. that is the punishment and what was, what was crazy <laughs> about those things is that our parents used to come to the school really really at any time at any time to find out about and they come it. to the, your class teacher first of all you never knew why your mother would ask you ever so often what's the name of your teacher again tell me the name of your teacher again and foolish you would say Miss who and who and who. And you just see your mother appear one day. Um, and you see Miss going by the door? Yes, because it, she would have gone by the principal. And the principal would say, yeah. You have permission. You have permission. And you just see your mother there. Most embarrassing thing to see is your mother at school. And you're seeing the teacher calling you. Cecil, come here. Come, come. Mama, And, and your, your mother mind. asking the questions in front of you. Um, Miss Damper, how is Cecil at class now? Boy, Mister, like to talk. Talk? You serious? He like to talk? How is he doing in school? Boy, he could do better, you know, because but he's talking too much. Hmm. Well, let me tell you, when you go home, on your arrival, <laughs> your mother, no, my mother wasn't putting me to, to kneel. She used to put me to sit. And, and that's more pressure, eh? Two stones. <laughs> <laughs> Each stone about a, 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 a two pounds. And you don't care how heavy <laughs> it is. And she says to you, two things I always remember my mom used to do. She used to say to you, if you stop, you have to answer me a question. And the other thing is, she would send you and do a message and she would quash it. And she'd say to you, if that dry, and you're not back. Just know what the time is. You, so you have to make sure. So you're running and running, you're running, you're running <laughs> to make sure that that, that speaker is not. Ah, uh, Cecil. Hoy. Those were the days. These were the days. Well, Cecil, it was a pleasure yes. being with you this evening. And we shall continue next week. Yes. This okay. time we head into the secondary school mm -hmm. and see what life was there for us. And then we can take it to the other level where in the graduation level, we are, we we are seeing now. education evolution and 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 I, i'm i'm doing this or we are doing this um to make our students know that it is not an entitlement what they are receiving because we it's we, a privilege we did not get this in this this privileges and you heard one of the callers that call you and i had to i had to stop him one of those good days when he called your program to talk as though it was you know it was something that they, you know that's the old but i see it as a privilege for where we come where we have, have been and what the students are now experience r experiencing now really because we, we would have to talk, we would have to talk about the fact that some some people only um well i don't say some people the the, the country at one time only just had one scholarship one scholarship Keep right now and and today huh. every child has the opportunity and not only that uh, we will talk when we making the transition from primary to secondary we'll talk about the advent of universal secondary education. so we must talk about common entrances the common entrance and then the movement where every child now has the privilege to enter right, secondary school right. That's so it's, no it's no longer having to write an exam once you have attained the grade five or grade six you know, you ha now have the privilege to enter secondary school. And not only that, you still have the privilege to enter tertiary education, meaning you can enter now the state college. So that is our next discussion, Cecil. Okay. Thank you very much, um, Brian. Thank and you very we much. We'll be meeting our uh, Dominican public, uh, our public again, our listening public, and also a viewing public. Just want to say to the viewing public, thank you very much for being with us. And uh, we will be with you again next week sunday as we continue the journey 
of talking about Dominica and its graduation. Um, last week, we dealt with the issues of lands, and we saw how we, have been, how we graduated to ensure that uh, we have a better society today. We dealt with the issue of education. Next week, we'll also deal with the issue of education. Thank you, and stay tuned. Chalet.